these guys are evil and I'll show you why in a minute. And it is not because of these annoying chewing noises that definitely this bug is making and not me. This terrarium is where these roly polies, eye spots, pill bugs or whatever you want to call them live. They share their home with a lot of other animals, like this one, can you spot it? How about now? I'm kidding, this is a plant. As a biologist I can tell you if it's green and it doesn't move, it usually is a plant or a green mailbox. I told you that these roly polies are monsters, but this one is actually helping me a bit. As most of you know by now, I'm an idiot. When I first made this terrarium, I placed it in a corner of my room. As a biologist I can tell you, plants need light. So everything died and started looking like this. Of course I knew what the problem was immediately, no I didn't, and placed this light in the terrarium. Everything started recovering, and even these ferns that were completely gone grew again. And this is where the roly polies come in. They help me get rid of the dead moss that is still in the terrarium. But not all of them are helpful. This baby and this adult are evil. Watch what they're going to eat. That is a baby millipede they're chewing on. For the children that are watching, it's probably just a molded skin that they're eating. For the adults that are watching, no it isn't. Even the baby roly poly wants to taste. Needless to say, these two need to be punished for their crimes, but I'll do that later in this video. First I want to show you how hard it actually is to film these guys. They are tiny. But luckily, I'm used to film tiny things by now. And that brings us to my OnlyFans. Just kidding. The roly polish should leave the hunting to the predator of this terrarium. The centipede. You probably won't believe it, but this few seconds of footage of this animal took me an hour to get. These efforts are fast. I know a lot of you wanted an update on my ant colony, so I'll give a short update at the end of this video, but please don't skip forward, watch the whole video, pretty please. Because now I'm going to put some food in the terrarium and see what animals show up, and if the roly polies come to eat, I can punish them for their crimes. First we have to wait a few hours until the animals show up, so I'll show you the coolest part of this terrarium. I know you can barely see it because the rocks are doing such a great job covering it up, but the spawn is actually a separate glass container. Let's take a look if something lives in the water. First I need to remove some of the duckweed. Clear it up just a little more. Wait, I think I see something. I know I know, cheap joke, but not as cheap as the controller that was used to steer that sub. Besides the occasional drowned isopod, there's nothing much in the water. But apparently, water isn't the only thing these isopods are drowning in. If you know what I mean. There are babies everywhere. And I mean everywhere. There are three in this shot alone, and two more here. You get my point. So I got only one thing to say to this baby millipede. Don't trust the isopods. Not even the baby ones. Especially not the baby ones. It's almost time to take a look at the piece of cucumber we put in, to see what animals we attracted. No clue what the thing is that sticks out to wood. Of course, this roly poly is the first one to arrive. It probably wanted dessert after eating that millipede. This is a springtail. They are good boys. They will eat mold in the terrarium. A bit later, everyone showed up. Some roly polies, springtails, millipedes. Everyone eating peacefully together. But of course, we all know better. We know that these roly polies are evil. These bigger millipedes apparently don't like cucumber and they prefer to eat wood. Don't say it. Just like your mom. I'm sorry. This one kinda looks like a dog that is sniffing for something in the dirt. It's a bomb sniffing millipede. The wood eating one and the bomb sniffing one have found each other. And it's a match made in heaven. Making more babies that the roly polies can eat. After it is done knocking a lot of boots, it's out of here. Now it's time to punish the roly polies. I collected a lot of them and I'm going to squash them one by one. The punishment fits the crime. No, I'm kidding, they're being banished. I'm releasing them, but I'm hoping to get a taste of their own medicine and get eaten by a spider or something. Now a moment a lot of you have been waiting for. An update on the ant colony. The colony is still in the tube, not a lot is happening. I see an ant wandering the nest area from time to time. And they have dug a little bit more, but no move so far. I give them a nice squashed bug regularly. 
and they eat everything. This one can't handle it alone, she's going to get help. The reinforcement is coming. Now they're following the pheromones that the first ant released, getting closer and closer to the food source. Almost there. Found it. Besides eating, these ants haven't been doing a lot, so let me know if you have an idea of what I can do with them, so I can make a full video again. Fast forward. When you see this, you know one thing. These ants don't skip leg day. This is one ant that is pulling something that is 7 or 8 times its size, but they still got a long way to go, and because I'm a merciful god, I decided to help them. They are probably wondering why that weird dude in the sky is helping them. In the end screen, there's a great video for you to watch next. But first, I want to thank you all for watching, and I want to thank all patrons for extra updates, behind the scenes and more. Check out my Patreon page, the link is in the description. I think you'll like this video next. Thanks.